All right, so got my little spot here, and I'm going to go ahead and take all my stuff off, get an MRE out, and we'll go ahead and start a review, see which one I got today. All right, so looks like today I got menu 20, hash brown potatoes with bacon, pepper, and onions. Not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. First, I'll take these gloves off, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so the gloves are off. Now peel this open. All right, so here we go. So there's my trash bag. I'll just put that right here. It's all wrapped up. Got the main course in the sleeve. Cool. Very soon. Accessory packet. Cinnamon bun shelf stable. Bridgeford. What? What? Alright, we're gonna have to explore that. Okay. Alright, cool. Mountain House granola. We got a genuine breakfast. Thank you, Mountain House, for your contribution. So then, smoked almonds. Now, is this a hickory flavored? Yep, hickory smoke flavor. So these are the hickory flavored almonds that I've done in uh, another MRE review. They're pretty good. I don't think I'm going to waste your time on that. Regular cheese spread. I just got boned again. Cheese spread, that's going to have to be heated up if I want to use it. Plain crackers. When am I going to get some vegetable crackers? You know? Okay, so got this. <gasps> Finally, something other than raspberry. Yeah, I got orange and it's got like nothing in it you know that's any good for you or gonna help you out any however I do got a beverage bag so I can make this up if I if I choose to have it and of course my MRE here and the rest is trash and of course my spoon can go right yonder so anyways first thing I'm gonna do before anything else is I'm gonna get this uh, main meal going which I'm gonna put the uh, the main meal in here and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the sleeve. And I think I'm going to put the um, little cinnamon bun under it and a little uh, cheese spread in on top of the uh, main meal just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Okay, so I got everything up and running, ready for the water. And, of course, random amount of water. I don't really care. I don't care about the do not fill or do not fill past this, you know, point line. I don't give a crap. It makes no difference, really. So, anyways, got the cinnamon bun underneath, got the cheese spread down there at the top, and I'm just going to go ahead and fold this young lady over, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on a flattish surface. Alright, so first thing on my list, I'm going to have to use my spoon early. I got my granola with milk and blueberries, so I'll tell you one thing, it's pretty cold out right now. It's... Uh, like 15 degrees and so this thing's given me an issue with opening there we go oh, I got lucky I didn't scatter everything around right so all right so the granola take out the desiccant packet and of course you've seen it on you know the little tabletop reviews or whatever of these MREs where they eat it at a desk or whatever I'm eating in the field and I'm cold because I'm going commando and my butt is getting really cold because it's on snow right now. Not smart. So, you know, I'm being punished for that. So I'm just going to put in, you know, a random amount of water. Not too much, not too little. But basically the powdered milk should, you know, start reconstituting. And I'm just going to shake it up and knead it a little bit. And so, go ahead and roll this down nice and tight. And then give it a little bit of a shake. Move it around a little bit. And get my instant oats on. Now granola doesn't really need to be too thoroughly done because it's supposed to have a little bit of a crunch with it. So I'm not too concerned. However, I want it to be consistent, you know? So anyways, I think that's good enough. So. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so that is your granola and blueberries in there. A lot of blueberries. Pretty awesome. So I guess I'll <clears throat> go ahead and open this up. 
gonna have to get to the accessory packet next, but you know, looks like I got cinnamon gum and coffee, which you know is useless right now. Hmm. That's good. Not really too milky, but blueberry. Pretty good stuff. Now this thing has some pretty good fiber and carbs in it, but you know it also has a little bit of sugar, a little bit of protein, I guess. But yeah, these berries, friggin' awesome. I remember the first time I got these. Mmm. I was just mind blown. These things are awesome. But compared to what we were getting, this is like actual breakfast. Pretty good stuff. I'm kind of excited about that cinnamon bun, see what that's all about. So this was made by Mountain House, so I assume if you were to get the civilian version of this, <clears throat> you'd probably get a lot more than this little sample of two ounces. So yeah, I mean, makes about half a cup or whatever. But this is only two ounces. That was only two ounces of granola. So yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna move on to the smoked almonds. Let's see if I like them a little bit differently now that they're you know really cold. <clears throat> Guess I'll have to go with this serrated side. It's slightly serrated, so that would have to be our opening point. Yep. I know my way around MREs, sort of. Break the seal a little bit. There we go. And you get a few almonds. Almonds are pretty good for you. However, they do actually have some stuff in them. Like if you have too many, it can kind of be counteracted. It can counteract certain vitamin absorption. So don't be sitting there mainlining almonds all the time, you know, every day, all day, every day. Mm. Hickory. Slightly salty. Not bad. I think they're actually better cold. So, yeah. I haven't eaten anything all day. And this is like my dinner. So, however many calories are in this, this is my dinner. So, I think I will try to enjoy it. Hmm. Not much powder left. Um, if any, unlike the last one where it had a shitload of powder all over the place and it was really strong hickory. I like that one. A tease of flavor. How about this beverage? I'm really interested in this. <clears throat> but, anyways, I promised I would get to the accessory pack, so here we go. I just said you're getting your coffee, you got your spray dried. So, we got spray dried government coffee. Now, I'm going to keep this so when I'm done doing these little, uh, you know, cheesy videos where I dress up like a, like a wannabe Marine, you know, being a former Marine, always a Marine, once a Marine, always a Marine, and actually today is the Marine Corps birthday, so happy birthday to me, you know, thank you very much, but, and you get your non-dairy creamer. I save these uh, coffees for afterwards. I never use creamer, I never use sugar, you know, just not my thing. <clears throat> matches, you know, I'm not lighting anything, but of course it's changed the color to that stupid army t-shirt color crap, because they're fighting in the desert, they're not preparing for the next war down the road. You get your ass wipe and your emergency wipe. So, this isn't even good to wipe your mouth, because you're going to get a bunch of like little flakes off on it, but, you know, it's your secondary wipe if you're really gooey, which, you know, some people get. You can get diarrhea in the field, so I just would store it up here. <clears throat> Cinnamon gum, because it's red. I love this gum. It's actually good. If you don't have a toothbrush, I'm going to brush my teeth after this, but I actually like to have them around, and it's good to uh, basically <clears throat> uh, chew gum and stuff uh, in between brushing and in between meals. It keeps your saliva active, and it neutralizes the bacteria that causes tartar plaque, you know, all that other crap. So, uh, salt, Last thing in here, got the salt. I'm gonna use this in the hash browns, so that'll be good to hold around there. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get on to this beverage. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put my spoon right here in a safe, safe keeping area. So I'm going to go ahead and put the powder in here first. Some people like to put the liquid in first, but I don't want to have to do this balancing act of holding it while I'm pouring powder in. So I'm just going to tear here, as the instructions say, on here. Oh, I got orange type 3. It has like nothing in here except for like two carbs and uh, some vitamin C. It has vitamin C in it and some potassium, I guess, but and calcium and shit. So I guess this type 3 it actually has some stuff in it, unlike the other one, the raspberry one. It, it didn't have anything in it. So maybe the orange one actually has some vitamins in it. Amazing! So, anyways, there we go. So, there's my canteen. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Oh, I love orange. Orange is one of my favorite flavors, and I, I actually do like the lemon and lime beverage. But I'm a weirdo, so take it for what it's worth. But I haven't, you know what I haven't seen, really, in a, <clears throat> a long time? Grape. Grape is actually not bad at all. I actually like grape. Um, fruit punch. The earlier fruit punches were actually good. I don't know about these latest ones, uh, though, because the last one I had, this did kind of like a soury fruit punch. It didn't even taste like fruit. It was just kind of this weird, sharp, tangy mess. Not fruity. So, I like the older fruit punches. So anyways, doing good on this. I know it seems like I'm rushing, but, you know, we're on a 50-50 and I want to be done, right? Yeah, I love these uh, little field reviews. But, yeah, some people are going to make some uh, weird comments, I'm sure. But, <clears throat> you're not actually out in the field? <laughs> no shit. Oh, yeah. That tastes like tang. That's badass. That's even... I don't think I remember these ever tasting like tang. That's pretty fucking good. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Or like Sunny D. That I can work with. I guess you gotta get coffee in order to get a goddamn beverage bag. But then, you gotta choose between hot water and hot coffee. So, it just doesn't make sense. If you have a beverage in there, you should provide a beverage bag. Because people aren't gonna be throwing shit into a camelback or whatever, but most of the time people are being issued bottles of water now. Instead of just having to fill up their canteens from a water bowl. So... Oh yeah, good stuff. All right, beverage bag is done. Okay, so I could open up the crackers, but crackers are crackers, and I'm gonna, you know, just open up uh, this and you know try one, see if there's really any difference with cold crackers. Which I don't think there really will be much of a difference. Anyways, I think something new has happened with these. Um, I think the crackers have changed a little bit because they seem to be a little different. Not as flaky and hard. Yeah. Soft, crispy, and still a little bit of a crunch, but it's not like the bricks you used to have to break. It was almost like little pieces of hardtack. Uh, Now it's actually enjoyable. They're badass. Okay, so we're going to check out the main meal now. It's been a little bit. So, hopefully it's actually heated up a bit. So, yeah. Cheese spread is still kind of hard. Let's see about the that cinnamon bun. Actually, I think I'll just go ahead and check out the cinnamon bun first see about this heater actually getting some and water on it oh my gosh I think I had a damn near defective heater here but I'll just leave this cheese spread under here for a bit and uh, I'll put this back down it seems like it's still working but I think that I have a defective heater anyways let's check out this cinnamon bun I remember I, um, we'd have like cinnamon scones with the veggie 
omelet. A lot of people called it the vomlet. I always called it the veggie omelet. Because you know what? I ate it and it was delicious to me. Because I would actually heat it up. That's how you do it. Heat it up, put Tabasco in it, and love it. I hated that it came with a Pop-Tart. I love the potatoes and stuff, and <clears throat> you know, this might be the best substitute for that stupid cinnamon scone or whatever. Okay, I changed my mind. I would rather have the fucking cinnamon scone. This is just weird. This is like, like a week old shitty bakery um, fuck up of a cinnamon bun um, <clears throat> unless they want to provide some icing or something like that these things are going to suck ass I think, but some people love them it's just a little bit different, maybe if it was warm, you'd feel a little bit different but this is just kind of tough I, it's like putting a little bit of sugar or cinnamon sugar or whatever in between two pieces of wheat snack bread that don't have any of that wheat snack bread flavor just bread with that f texture so that's that I guess I'll finish this and I'll see you with the main meal okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take out this cheese spread it's like this thing's starting to work a little bit but it's so slow I mean this is just a crappy heater but I'll just let it sit there and I'm gonna have a little bit of cheese spread I don't really like putting them on my crackers I'm I'm that weirdo I'm that uh, ketchup on waffles kind of weirdo but I don't do ketchup on waffles this is just like an example of weird thing a weird thing that I do a lot of people are like well you're supposed to put the bread on the cr on the cracker or on you're supposed to put the cheese on the on the bread or the cracker or whatever like as long as it gets in my belly and it comes out my ass I don't really give a shit that's good fake cheese it's like spray cheese but with like a bitter rotten taste to it so yep mmm 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 oh yeah it's so healthy for me. I can feel, you know, <clears throat> my health rating going up. So it looks like I'm going to be having half heated. I'm going to be having half heated hash browns. Whatever. You know what? I got a good idea. It's not like I haven't done this shit before. But <clears throat> I'm just going to let this continue cooking. I'm going to open this son of a bitch up. So. Uh, if I could, it's marine proof. Yep. All right, here we go. Use my multi-tool spoon. Wow, these make they make these heaters so you can't open them. Little asses. With everything I've been through, and I almost got defeated by a fucking MRE Flamish Ration Heater bag. <clears throat> well, ain't that going to humble you out a little bit. So it's going to continue cooking. And I'm going to tear this open. Pretty shallow tear notch here. Man, it's like this whole meal has just been somewhat of a challenge to do anything with. All right. So it's still cooking. This really rem reminds me of the potatoes in the veggie omelet. And <clears throat> look at that. This reminds me of the potatoes you get. The, the little the little strips of potatoes. It has a more bacon in it. It's actually the second ingredient other than water. Mm. The bacon. Yeah. This tastes pretty close to the potatoes that you get with the the veggie omelet, so I don't know. I think it's I think it's pretty good. It's a little bit of a flavor enhancement with the peppers, but pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add salt. Oh man, the cold will 
encourage you to get done with things faster, huh? I'm not taking my time like I was, you know, earlier on when I was starting to do these little field reviews. No way, man. I am, I am getting this stuff done. I am eating, and I am going home. Holy crap! <clears throat> getting a cold butt. Getting colder as I go. Yeah, it's gonna get miserable. So, yeah, gotta hurry this stuff up. Oh yeah, I can taste the potatoes. I can taste, or not the potatoes, the bacon in the potatoes. I just got a bunch of salt on that one. Not exactly well distributed, but hopefully this one will be less salty. That evened it out pretty well. <clears throat> you know I've been struggling so much with this, I forgot to bring my knife out. So, <laughs> yep, just wanted to get this done with. Like an idiot, but, you know, that's okay. It's good to see how we uh, really deal with things when we don't want to use our knives, right? Just pretend I got a knife on me. I just don't want to use it. I'm just that stubborn. That's more what I was like when I was in. I just didn't want to have to use my knife. Hmm. Now I'm wearing my food. Yep. <clears throat> just like good old times. See? I finished most of it. And now I'm done. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's it for the uh, the hash browns. You know, if I'd have let that thing, if it, if I'd have been able to get that thing like fully heated, I think it would have been pretty good. But you know, <clears throat> holy crap. Um, the cinnamon the cinnamon bun was a disappointment. So as far as like things that you like and things you don't like. I mean, the potatoes was were good and the granola was good, but everything else was just, eh. It's kind of like the veggie omelet, how you get the cinnamon scone, which a lot of people would throw away unless they uh, made it a specific way. And then you take little things out of there, like the Pop-Tart or uh, the potatoes for me, um, <clears throat> you know, stuff like that. There were, there were a couple things that were really good and worth rat-fucking the MRE for, but, you know, overall... It would be the beverage bag and the and the drink and the uh, the the main meal. Hopefully heated up. Even if it wasn't heated up, it would probably still be good. But anyways, you know that's that's an MRE field review for you. And I will see you out here with another MRE, and we'll do another field review in the middle of winter. <laughs>